rescue efforts resumed in the early hours of Friday in the hope of finding anyone at sea. But around noon, the search was called off as strong winds swept in. Overnight, rescuers retrieved 18 bodies from the Aegean island of Lesbos just off the coast of Turkey. Most of them women in their 20s believed to be from Somalia. Hundreds of kilometers southwest of Lesbos, seven more people lost their lives at the island of Kithira, with another 10 missing after a boat heading for Italy crashed into rocky cliffs. Winds blowing in the area had been close to 120 kilometers an hour, and authorities say the boat sunk in minutes. Kithra sits on a route often used by smugglers to bypass Greece and head directly to neighboring Italy. This tragedy comes at time of tension between Greece and Turkey, who've traded blame over the issue of migration. Greece's immigration and asylum minister, Notis Mitarakis, urged Turkey to do more to stop boats leaving its coast during harsh weather conditions and called on European leaders to take action against the Turkish government. It's time for the European Union as a whole to call on Turkey to manage and protect its borders better, according to international law. Turkey should prevent these illegal departures from their country. Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis also took an aim against his neighbor and urged the Turkish president to work with Greece. Let no more lives be needlessly lost in the Aegean. There is no doubt that Turkey, if it wants to, and it has proven this, can do more to reduce the problem. Turkey has previously accused Greece for forcing back migrant boats from its waters. But the Greek government continues to blame what it calls Turkey's tolerance of ruthless smugglers for this latest tragedy. But as this back and forth continues between the two, the death toll is likely to rise with many still missing at sea. Evangelos Sipsas for CGTN, Athens.